When it comes to stealing treasure from other players, few methods rival the prestige of tucking. The ability to get onto somebody's boat unnoticed, the patience to stay hidden for hours on end, as well as the sheer burst of excitement once you come out of hiding to make your move. This ancient art of piracy was one that I had not captured the ability to replicate myself until today. Because not only am I going to hide on a ship to steal from other players, what I'm trying to steal is the rarest quest in the game. That's right, my friends, I'm talking about a gilded Athena voyage. Trust me when I say that, this tucking adventure is unlike any other you have ever seen. But before any thievery could take place, I needed a target. My evening did not actually start with the intent of stealing from somebody. In fact, my goals were a lot more humble. Hello. Hello. We are friendly. Yeah, me too. We will, uh, I'm just looking for a robot. A robot? Yeah, near robot. I mean, what can I say? Robots and I are a match made in heaven. Unfortunately, these fellows had not seen any such vessel around, instead asking me if I wanted to join their alliance. I had no intention of doing said thing, but because they seemed to be new to the game, I decided to give them a few pieces of loot which I'd found whilst looking for a rowie. Little did I know at that moment that this would not be the last time I set foot on their ship. And it also wasn't the last I'd seen of their crew because one of them decided to follow me. I didn't know what exactly his deal was, but I figured that if he wanted a free ride on my ship, I might as well make him work for it. Yo, go do the sails, man. We gotta catch wind. Do the sails! We need wind! Come on! The other one? The, the round one. The one behind that one. It seems like our new friend over here had not yet familiarized himself with the ins and outs of sailing. He did, however, eventually muster the courage to begin speaking, though what came out of his mouth definitely caught me by surprise. He is holding me hostage. I'm not holding you hostage, what? I'm just making you work for the travel, it's not free travel. Yeah, this was not an argument that I was about to win, so I turned my ship around to bring this fella back to his crew. I started to think that this was some elaborate ploy to coax me into joining their alliance, because upon my return, the same offer was made yet again. But much to my surprise, the stowaway began to make a very enticing offer. He told me that if I was to join their alliance and they found a rowboat, they could bring it to me, because you can see other ships within your lines on the map. And I mean, that was as convincing an argument as I could hope for. Okay. I'm gonna join your alliance. If you find a rowboat, come find me, okay? okay? Okay. Thank you. Kill the other guy for content. Stop it, Chungus! I'm not killing them! If these guys start attacking, then I will turn back around. <laughs> I will murder these guys if it means protecting the child. The voices in my head were definitely not in agreement with my own plans for the day, but alas, I knew what the right thing to do was. As soon as I found a rowboat, I decided that, contrary to what some voices wanted me to do, I should be playing these guys' guardian angel. Little did I know what kinds of opportunities this would create for me later down the line. I was given a chance to stow away on their ship when they anchored at New Golden Sands in order to sell their treasure. Bit by bit, I inched my way forward, making sure not to attract any attention. And luckily for me, the two of them decided to leave their ship alone was going to explore the changes made to this outpost. Now, if you've ever seen somebody tuck on another person's ship, you know that for the vast majority of the stay, there isn't really a lot that happens. And I wanted to change that. I figured it would be really funny to use a little-known mechanic, thanks Fuzzy Bond, and use my position as a member of their alliance to drop my own gilded Athena voyage on their table. Those rewards, however, will be a long time coming because this is not something they would notice for quite a while. What they did notice, however, was another ship. When... Oh, Craig, look at the, of the mirror. That's a certified Elbozo moment. Seeing them get crackened was rather ironic because during my extended stay on the ship, there was one thing I learned. This might be the most well-behaved and polite child I have ever seen. That only reinforced the idea that I have to protect him from any danger that headed our way. Unless the danger takes care of itself, of course. But when the time finally came to establish myself as a guardian angel... No, 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 no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. We don't yeah, take okay. that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't okay. do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Yes, we just put that there. No! 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 no, 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 no. Oh, no. You're dumb. As much as I was not a fan of how that dude was talking to the young lad, my priority was saving the ship. Needless to say that after that little act of charity, which followed my inability to save him in the first place, they obviously knew that I was on their ship. At that point, I was fairly certain that my tucking adventure would be over, seeing as how they went back to the outpost to sell their new batch of loot. But thankfully, their session was not over yet. Which means, there was still a chance. 
Now, I definitely was not in the business of stealing from children. Luckily for me, this was an open crew, meaning when he left to go to bed, he would be replaced by another player. I had not forgotten how the captain talked to the young lad when things went awry, meaning I was more than happy to steal from him. But while we waited for a new crewmate to be matched onto his ship, I helped him find the islands that he needed to go to as part of the Gilded Athena voyage. There was a mutual understanding between us that I would continue to pretend like I was hiding, which is funny considering his new crewmate would be none the wiser. But when said crewmate finally showed up, I got a little too giddy. Wait, wait, are okay. you a skeleton? Hold up. <laughs> oh, no shot. That's no a shot, up. you a skeleton? That's sick. That's tight. Oh my god, wait. As you can see, I was very impressed. I'd only later find out that this guy did not only have the skeleton curse, but also the Athena blessing. And considering that both of these cosmetics can only be acquired by participating in hourglass PvP, yeah, I'd probably not want to fight that guy. At that point, I had decided that hiding in plain sight truly was the only option for me. If I made a serious attempt at tucking on this dude, no doubt I'd be found before I get anywhere near the chests of legends. But hey, I am known to put my own spin on tried and true strategies, so giving them a full sense of security may actually be the best course of action. As much as he was playing along with a bit of pretending I was not there, somebody currently completing a Legend of the Veil vale voyage right next to us gave me a great opportunity to put his PvP skills to the test. And thankfully, Rare decided to help me along in that plan. The skeletons aren't spawning here. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe you have to kill the Athena and then they'll spawn. Only somebody who is truly confident in their skills would be crazy enough to attack another Athena emissary was currently on a gilded Athena voyage. So of course that is exactly what he decided to do. Naturally, I was making an attempt to steer the outcome of this battle in my favor, though our Canadian PvP lord had absolutely no trouble holding his own, even in light of me missing every single shot. You can take my word when I say that the first guy and I were merely along for the ride, as our skelly friend completely dismantled the enemy sloop as if it was nothing. Even when I jumped into the water to help him fend off the back spawns, he had taken care of every enemy before I could do anything. And I can't believe I say this, but we just got our first chest of legends, and it wasn't even from the voyage I placed. If all goes well, I'd have the opportunity to steal a total of four Athena chests in one fell swoop, and that made me nervous. Four hours of tucking shenanigans were culminating in the completion of my voyage. All three of my chests of legends were not only found, but neatly lined up for presentation. And I mean, I have come this far by playing the bits, so I was wondering if I could take it to the end. Uh, hey, can you help me load this on the lo a robot? Okay. Oh, just, just, just put it on the robot. It's gonna look cool. All right, can you, uh, can you stand like right on on the rim of this, like right here? Can, can you, can you stand like here? Oh boy. <coughs> oh. You will remember this day as the day you almost caught Cliff the Story Guy. My boat, my robot, my robot, <laughs> my robot. No, no, the robot is bugged. The robot is bugged. I can't use it. Yep, in an ironic twist of fate, it was the very robo that started this whole adventure which would lead to my downfall. Somehow they managed to pick it back up and drop it by Sanctuary with what I assume was a great level of difficulty. I was trying to fight this guy for the Athena chest, but after having seen what he did to that other sloop, I think you can imagine how much of a chance I really stood. At the end, I did succeed in turning in a total of two chests of legends before finding myself overwhelmed. Not that it mattered a heck of a lot because we were still in an alliance, meaning the other would get 50 percent of the turn in value anyway. This might have not been the greatest heist I've ever done, but it sure as heck was a very memorable session. But if you want to watch me use my silver tongue to talk myself into a fortune, make sure to check out my last episode titled The Ultimate Heist. You can find the card on screen right now. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys have a day filled with riches on the sea. And until next time, peace.